In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can take uh, a CV out of the old Reformer 3 and use it to control a keyboard or synth like the Buchla. I take a CV1 out and I'm running it into this dual oscillator 258V and CV2 out is going into a quad function generator which is triggering a low pass gate. So the first thing I need to do is go to the more page and set up CV1 for sequence one, which is here, and CV2 for the envelope. Now, CV2 uh, envelope doesn't quite put out enough voltage to trigger my quad generator model off the envelope, so I added a little bit of offset here, and that, uh, that gets it triggering. So we'll go ahead and just lay down some trigs. And uh, then we'll go to, we'll hit start and listen to that. Now we'll go to the sequencer control track page for one and change up the Okay, so that's kind of interesting. We have the output from the oscillator going back into the little deformer three. And uh, we can take that and we can modulate it with the filters in the little deformer three. So I'm gonna use um, one of the analog filters on it and set it up so that the envelope that is triggering the quad low pass gate also is opening the filter at the same time. So we'll set that up and listen to how that changes the edit the envelope settings. Okay, and then uh, let's uh, change the filter a little bit more, we'll add uh, an LFO to give it a little bit more movement. All right, now we're going to uh, take an LFO from the modular synth, run it into the CVN1 on Ghost Rooms Little Deformer 3 and use that LFO as our master clock instead of using the clock on the Little Deformer 3. To do that, we need to go to the CVNs and on the CVNs, I'm gonna set CV1 to 130 second. And so now, when this LFO is going and I hit start, it'll uh, take the LFO and use that as its clock. Okay. Um, and we can also take this clock that the LFO is uh, triggering the little deformer three and use yeah. that clock over its MIDI out to control external things. So we can use the little deformer three as a uh, pulse to MIDI clock converter. So I have a little uh, thing set up on this electron digi digitone, and uh, we'll we'll take this clock and we'll clock this. So. change the uh, rate of the LFO, we'll change the BPM of the, of everything. Uh, so
say we like that and we wanted to sample it, we can sample that now quickly on the little Deformer 3. We go into the sample page, uh, hit record, and we'll record um, input uh, left. So we'll be recording just the bucla, which is going into input left. Uh, the electron digita is going into audio input three. Uh, let's let's record the digita going into audio input three. So let's set this to input three. We'll check the levels. That looks pretty good. We'll go ahead and hit record. Okay, let's audition it. That sounds good. We'll save it as a new sample. One. Sample zero. One saved. Okay, so now we got a sample in there of that, and we can uh, manipulate this sample in interesting ways. Uh, we'll go ahead and put it on uh, part two. And we'll go to the oscillator page and select the sample for new sample one right there, hit okay. So now the sample's in there. We'll set the oscillator mode to sample. And, and now we'll add some trigs for that. This uh, sample is going through bus one, which is the same bus that the Buchla oscillator is going into. So the filter changes on, on uh, bus one that were applied to the Buchla oscillator are being applied to this, uh, this sample bit. So if we morph, or if we rather mute the first part and just listen to the, the sample going to the filter, it sounds like that. Let's go back to the oscillator page and what we're going to do is uh, we're going to modulate the start point and put the start point on a, a random generator and uh, so now it'll trigger different start points randomly on that sample. Original back in with it. <coughs> Unmute the Buchla part. And very quickly building up something that sounds like a, the start of an interesting song. So, the little Deformers G. It's pretty cool to do 